Well, the recent slowdown in the energy sector has led to some job layoffs for wind turbine manufacturers. Yet industry watchers believe the construction and maintenance of these huge energy generators has nowhere to go but up. Our Russ Jewell traveled to Woodward, Oklahoma to attend the first class of Oklahoma's wind tech program. They've been a fixture in the Oklahoma landscape almost longer than Oklahoma has been around. Soaring oil derricks that have revolutionized our state's economy, thanks in large part to the hands and muscles of thousands of dedicated Oklahomans without whom this revolution would not have been possible. Fast forward to 2009 and we see yet another energy revolution taking place in Oklahoma, one that like its predecessor, will need the hands and muscles of dedicated Oklahomans if it is to succeed. If we develop anywhere near the amount of wind power that is for forecasted for western Oklahoma, southwestern Kansas, Texas Panhandle, we're going to have a very extreme need for trained personnel to care for these turbines. Enter Greg Adams, an Oklahoma native who knows a thing or two about wind turbines and what it takes to operate them. I got involved in wind energy because I grew up in western Oklahoma and as a young kid hanging on to barbed wire fences just to stay in one spot, I figured something needed to be done with this much power. <laughs> so Greg began investing in wind turbines and after building a successful wind development company, is now spending his evenings here at High Plains Technology Center bringing up the first generation of Oklahoma trained wind technicians. If anybody's been to Northwest Oklahoma, you understand that we have plenty of wind. So uh, we just felt like as the wind industry started to grow, it was a perfect fit for High Plains Technology Center to offer a wind technician program. Dwight Hughes is Deputy Superintendent of High Plains Technology Center and says the wind technician program has come at just the right time to meet what will be a soaring demand. They're saying that they're going to need um, you know, about 90 technicians a year until like the year 2024. And so, um, and that's just around here. So, you know, and then you expand that clear across the wind belt from Texas clear up to the Dakotas. There's just a huge demand. And so we felt where High Plains sets as a technology center, it was just a perfect match for us to get into that wind, wind training. Well, we, we want to find out and provide not only <clears throat> the people uh, out there building these uh, towers and the transmission lines with the best possible guidance that we can and the training, but also we are looking at educational programs for the landowners. Dr. Phil Birkenbile, head of the Career Tech System, says that one of the program's goals is not only to educate those working on the turbines, but also those whose land these turbines will be built on. What's, what's a good lease? You know, we've heard everything from $3,500 to $4,000 uh, a year per tower. Well, in some parts of the state, they're only talking about three to $400 a year. And growing along with the wind developments in western Oklahoma comes the economic developments that will follow for towns in the area like Woodward. The opportunity to have wind energy, uh, the expansion of that industry in northwest Oklahoma means so much, not only for the future of Woodward, Oklahoma, but to help solve our nation's energy crisis. Laverne Phillips is president of the Woodward Industrial Foundation and says that growth in the wind industry means growth for Oklahoma's high plains. There are several components of what wind will do for you. Uh, number one, it's leasing the land from the landowners. The, the development companies come in and do that. Number two is when they actually site a project and start building it, you've got all the construction jobs. That helps your hospitality industry. Companies will be in, in your communities spending money that'll create sales tax. Uh, but I think the big issue that is once these facilities are built, the transmission lines and, and the towers, when they go up, they add so much ad valorem tax, which benefits the public schools and also county government and that that is something that uh, will just pay big dividends in the future a new venture that signals the dawning of a new era in oklahoma and you can see firsthand just what it takes to construct one of these giant turbines simply head to our website and click on this week's value added